Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, Organizer on uh, a Ubuntu Proxmox container, though this will uh, apply to any Ubuntu machine, we're just going to be doing it on my uh, Proxmox install on my R610. Um, so Organizer is a, you know, it says here, it's a uh, web service that allows you, like, I think it does PHP frames of another website, so like you can see through to your website and you don't have to worry about port numbers so it's uh, like DNS um, or like DNS you can't do port numbers on it so having a memorable domain name doesn't help if you can't remember the ports so this uh, helps with that uh, though if your website doesn't support that or something like that you can set it up to be um, just redirect you to a new tab um, with it um, so uh, yeah, so this is, I use it to help me remember the ports and addresses of everything uh, without going into my wiki. Um, stay tuned for a video on installing and setting up uh, your Bookstack app, which is what I use my wiki. Um, so first, I need to create a Proxmox container. Um, like I said, you can do anything for this, but I'm going to be using a container. Um, so... Uh, feel free to skip over this bit if you know obviously know how to create a proxmox container but we're gonna hit create container I label my containers as uh, 200s and the VMs is 100 so this is be 204 five uh, let me, yeah 205 and then it will be DV for development just because for the tutorial um, though I have PR for production. Um, and then we'll be organizer. Organizer tutorial. Um, then we'll put it into a password. Um, and unless you have like the stuff, uh, unless you need an ECSH into it or whatever, um, or you have like resource pool set up, then you don't need to touch any of this stuff. Um, so the template, be the Ubuntu. Uh, we're just gonna give it eight gigs. It's uh, you know enough. I always give mine a minimum of two cores. Um, all my stuff. Uh, five twelve for the swap of memory is fine for this application though. If you have more and feel like doing it, um, you can. I have a different interface for management and VM interface, so uh, I'll use that. DHCP, um, I don't have IPv6 in my lab right now, but if I want to add it, I will just do uh, like DHCP um, in the future. So for IPv4 192.168.1.205, because that's the VM slash 24, um, eventually I'm going to be changing it to a dot 10 in here network um i've got the peasant status that set up i just need to find time to set up some vlans on the switches and then it'll be a big job of migrating everything over um, my gateway is it's my peasant box um this should be all good dns that can use the host name uh, host settings and we can hit start after created that just saves us you know a little bit of time um, and then it will go through and create it. Okay, sweet, it's all good. And we can open the console. And because I'm logged in at root, I think the password is uh, root. And then whatever password you set. And boom, we're in. So first thing, always try to do a apps get update. Um, so the app get update just updates. Uh, I think it. 
Um, I think so. The app get update sees like updates the binaries and it sees what needs to be updated, and then you do an app get upgrade. So uh, it's completed after three minutes about, um, so now we can begin to install Organizer. So it has a nice install script and it brings up this, so basically it's copy and paste, though we don't need the sudo as we're root user. Um, you can do command C obviously in here, and then command shift V if you're using Proxmox, uh, where you know work. Command C, Control C, sorry. Whoops. Ah, uh, oh, I'm in Firefox, that's why. Um, you can just, if you're in Firefox, you can uh, right click and hit it or whatever. Um, norm normally the Control Shift V works in Chrome. So uh, here we're installing git, which is what allows us to download the packages f for uh, Organizer. And then we can go boom, command C, paste, boom. And then um, paste this in. Um, obviously, you have to type this out if it's like a um, machine that you can't copy and paste into um, something like a VM um, or anything like that, um, or bare metal or whatever. But yeah, so it brings us to this. And uh, be warned if you sh should probably um, read through the instructions on this if you have anything other than like a fresh VM of the instructions on the page because there is some stuff that will mess it up. Um. So we can uh, hit the four full install because um, that is uh, what we, we have a fresh VM, so we don't have a patch here or anything installed, so it won't mess with that or anything. And this will just go through and install everything for us.
So eventually it splits this out to this, so we can press any key. Enter. Um, we'll install the V2 beta. I use it um, personally. I've tried the V1. It's just much nicer. It has a bunch more features and stuff. Um, so to um, A, I believe. Hang on. I have to double check this. So um, it's actually to B. Um, it says here coming soon. That's what confused me. Um, the beta is here, so you have to do that. And then you enter like a folder name for your install. Um, so you can do, I think I did organizer.lan, um, but we can do Let's try that. Um, then enter for default. That will just install where it is. Um, so we'll go through and do everything. Um, I think I just hit uh, enter from there. I don't bother with those. And then it spits us out at this screen. Uh, it's like um shows you all the information you've done on the install so we can uh hit the enter to return to this thing this is where you might want to uh like update it or whatever i think so we can navigate to 102.168.1.205 because that was our vm and uh, you can see up here organizer v2 and this will load up into this page. Um, so I uh, do personal. Um, uh, the, uh, there's no difference. The only thing is uh, business uh, has no media stuff like Plex or MB. Um, but there's no like licensing fees or anything associated. So uh, we can use admin. Um, admin at admin admin com I don't think the email matters that much um, um I've just done one two three in here one two three but um you have obviously want to change these um So we can uh, do database location. Oh, you can just hit copy and then paste. Get an Iser. Um, so what should we enter here? DB, that should be fine. Okay, next. Um, and then it does all this stuff. And then we can hit uh, finish. And it should load up again. Admin. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Ugh, so many typos. So, um, and yeah, you've installed um, Organizer, so you can do a bunch of stuff, like I'd highly recommend just kind of messing around with this, but uh, the main thing you want to do is tab editor, um, you can go tabs, and this is where you go add, and we can add, say Proxmox, for example, and it can go to 192.168.1.30. Uh, six and we have to add an HTTPS on there. Uh, 
Uh, it's got a bunch of images here. Um, and then we hit add tab. And you can like move these around. You know, maybe you want your uh, proxmox at the top or your router at the top. Um, and then so here's where you do the iframe or a new window. So if your thing doesn't support iframes, like it's like uh, my access point blocks them out um, because sometimes they can be a little bit of a security risk. Um, I think you can make it load it in a new window, but for uh, proxmox that's fine. And then you could do like home page. Um, and then your home page is where you can add stuff. Uh, so say if you have, you know, um, a Plex server, or you have a transmission uh, server, or anything like that, you can add them to your homepage and all like give you statuses and stuff like that. Ah, oh, there we go. So I just had to delete, get rid of the uh, thing, and then it refreshed the page, and boom. It now is showing this, uh, well rather, like this, inside of here. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's organizer. Um, if you, it's really customizable. I highly recommend at least like uh, taking it for test drive kind of thing. I uh, really enjoy it. Um, just an easy place to manage all my uh, all my all my VMs and stuff. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you uh, liked it uh please leave a thumbs up um so you know i can gauge the interest on these types of videos um i'm working on uh i, th I think i said in another video um a pfsense series so uh hopefully that will come out in like the next month uh, or something like that um i'm also gonna do a video on my wiki so stay tuned for that also um so thanks for watching, um, if you liked the video, hit uh, the like button, um, and see you next time.